we're finally back together again, being able to cook. We're going to make some bread. What's cool rice sweet dough today? Mm, that sounds good. So, that sounds good. All right. Um, it was submitted by Louise. Is that Louise or Lois? I'm not sure, but yeah. Lo Lois or Louise Alexander, and then the first cousin is Dick Ramage. Yes. So hopefully this will be good. Usually everything is. Yeah. You're gonna need five cups of flour, but we had to um, we had to split it out because you're gonna use it all at one time. So I have two cups in here, and I have three cups in here, and we'll be dipping that out. What else we're gonna need? We need two packages of dry yeast. Dry yeast. I used uh, uh, Fleischmann's. Fleischmann's. Um, half a cup of sugar. Half a cup of sugar. A one and a half teaspoons of salt. Salt. A stick of soft margarine. And I, I can't show up to because I soften it too, too much. And it's gonna but it's going to be soft. So. It's going to be very soft. <laughs> One and a half cups of hot water, almost boiling. I have that already in the microwave. Two eggs. Two eggs. And a little bit of oil for the top of the dough. We Ooh, can get that. One. You should have bought some of your uh, fresh eggs. They would have been good in yep, this. Yeah, I have, have plenty. We have lots of that. For sure. Um, Does it say what kind of oil? Can you use olive oil? Yeah, I would use okay. olive oil. That's what I use at the house. When I, you can use olive oil or vegetable oil. Yeah. And the um, the first thing we're going to do is take two cups of flour, and Terry already has her flour, in the large batter bowl. So, she's got that. And then we're going to add the yeast. Alright, your oil? Yeah, I found my oil. <laughs> Alright, so. Put two packs of yeast in there. Two packs. And normally when I use yeast like that, you have to mix it with the water first, but this time it says put with the dry ingredients. So that's what that's what two we're doing. Dry yeast. That's yeah, that's what it says. says. Hmm. I'm gonna be honest, I never made bread. So I this is a learning experience for me. I'm excited though. I love to make bread. It smell it makes your house smell so good. Yeah, it does. But then <laughs> Um, then you want to eat it yeah, after. Eat it. Yeah, that's when you take it and then share it with your neighbors. That's right. And I made homemade strawberry jam, so Ooh, that'll be good on be good bread. on my bread. Mm -hmm. Okay, so two packs of yeast. Okay. And then you're you're gonna put your sugar. Okay. The whole thing. Yeah, half a cup of sugar. Sugar. And salt. One and a half teaspoons of salt. One teaspoon. So one and a half. Oh, and I, it says flour. I forgot to say that that is self rise. I mean, uh, uh, all, all purpose flour. All purpose one flour. Teaspoon and then a half. A yeah, teaspoon. a half a teaspoon. So make sure you use all purpose flour if you make it at home. All right, now you're going to blend it together. Okay, do you use like a blender? I won't, I'll just mix it. Okay. Like if you have a whisk or something. Whisk. Yeah, that's what I would use. Okay. Anytime I do something with flour, I like to use the whisk because it puts mm -hmm. air in there and gets it all. Yeah. I like my whisk. Okay. It's not Pampered Chef, though. Oh, I think I need to get me a Pampered Chef whisk. I like my Pampered Chef uh, stainless steel whisk. And now they make the mini one. Yeah. And I had the mini one, I can't find it. I've also lost one of my Easy Read measuring cups. I knew there were four. Uh -huh. And I kept thinking, where is my other measuring cup? And then I said, well, maybe there was only three. You know? uh -huh. Then last night I was looking them up online and there are four. So uh -huh. I've got one missing somewhere. I didn't take it. I oh, I know. But I was like, I don't know where it could be. I'm going to have to look for it because I love those things. Okay. All right. Now you're going to add your, oh, your butter. That's very, very soft. Very soft. It's like. <laughs> she put it in the microwave just to soften a little bit and it ended up. Yeah, a little crazy. Microwave. That's okay though, because I'd rather it be easier. Yeah. Okay. And no. now your hot water. Oh, my hot water. Okay. Then it says beat a few minutes. All right. This is still hot, so, but it did not boil. You're not supposed to boil it. Yeah. All right. The whole thing? One and a half cups. Is that what you got? That's what I got. Then it says, beat a few minutes. I don't know. Yeah, it's probably gonna turn into a dough, so the whisk probably won't last long with the beating. So we are probably gonna need like a spoon or something. Okay. Or a, I don't know, if I do it like this, maybe? Sideways? It might. 
I'm just, it's gonna turn Ooh, into a day. Good muscles. <laughs> That's my grandma was always had good muscles. Eat a few minutes. Beat a few minutes. Cause like we're always whisking that dough together. Yeah, yeah it's gonna. No, we gotta add more. We gotta add more flour. Oh, okay. So okay. it's gonna get thin. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Because I was thinking, so we gonna take turns. <laughs> sure. I'm joking. I know. Uh. -uh. That's a. This is like serious. All right. I, Oh, you think that's, I mean, a minute's a lot minutes. longer than yeah. what I wish. <laughs> you know, you don't think a minute's very long it until is. you start timing a minute. Yeah, so when you start using your hands to mix something, I mean, it can last forever. Ever. Yep. Just want to make sure you get all that mixed because it has that yeast in there. It needs to mix with that hot water. Yeah. Now, once we get this mixed together, um, we're going to have to let it rise and um, in the refrigerator. And on here it says that you want to, that they like to let it rise overnight. We don't have that. So we're gonna let it maybe rise for an hour the first time. And yeah, see unless how it does. I wanna spend the night with me. So. <laughs> I have a lot to do. Yeah. And um, then we'll do go from there after we let it rise. You think it's good? I think so. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, now we're, we're going to add the... What about the eggs? Wait a minute. We're going to add add the eggs. So we need two eggs. Okay. Two eggs. Do you have one? them Yeah. I'm going to get my... I'm saving my egg shells. For the tomatoes. For my tomatoes. So I'm just sticking them all in here once I get them. See, it already smells so good. Mm -hmm. I love smell that smell yeast. of bread. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, we're going to. Do I beat that? No, we're no. going to put the rest of the flour in. All of this? Yep. Three cups of flour. All right. I'm going to do it like this just to make sure I have exactly three cups because I was dumping out of this thing and I like to eat it. So you do it all at one time? Yep. One. These batter bowls from Pamper oh, Chef are really nice, and Cherry's, Terry's like me, she's got the small one and the large one. They're awesome. You're going to get another small one, too, unless you want something different with your rewards, because it was like a, whoever did a party mark. I'm glad I did that. Yeah, a really small batter bowl. See, I didn't have a small one, and I just ordered it, and I'm so glad I, I did, because I don't always need the big one. Mm -hmm. I use these things all the time. I do too. Okay. Okay. Now, now. we're going to beat until moist and it forms a dough. Okay. Here we go. Ooh, I'm glad I got this big old bowl. <laughs> yeah, and batter bowls are really good to make bread in. <laughs> That's what, now's probably where you're going to have your problem yeah, with the whisk. Like, what do you do? Do I need a fork or? I would get a spoon. Like a big, a big spoon? Do you have a wooden spoon? I do. I do a wooden spoon. Have a wooden spoon. And it's, you know, you're gonna, I was getting all that out, but, um, cause it, it gets inside the whisk. Yeah. The bread is messy. Every time. Okay. It's messy, but like I said, I've never made it. So it's kind of fun to make. It's a lot of fun. And I love making bread. Lee won't eat fresh bread. What? So I love to make it, and then Chelsea never will eat it, or I. Lee will not eat fresh bread. What is bread? He'll eat it, but he doesn't. He doesn't like it like he does. Just going to the store and buying like really? too much work. <laughs> I don't know why he doesn't like mm. that. Okay, I mean, I love fresh bread. Homemade bread is. Yeah. Even though I've never made it, I'm a big fan. It's, it's really of good. Eating it. As y'all can tell, I'm sure, I'll I'll gained all these weight so lately do. from. Eating this kind of stuff. <laughs> See, and it's making a dough. Yeah. Wow. You can hear it pop, pop. Mm -hmm. Like air pockets in there. Let me just make sure. And it's sticky. And you know, bread dough is really sticky at first. I don't know. I don't know how I'm supposed to. I mean, I think it's going to be okay. fine. All right. 
It's goop. Oh, it's warm. Mm, that yeast in there. Mm -hmm. So that's what yeast does. I know yeast makes it rise, yeah. but it keeps it warm. Well, it does something in there, and I don't know. I don't know what it does, but I know it does yeah. that hot water. It activates it. Yeah. yeah. Kind of. I'm sure that's what And we... there's what it looks like. Okay. It's like a sticky kind of dough, but not too sticky. Okay, it so says put some oil on top of it. How much oil? doesn't say. Oh, okay. Well. I just like put a little oil. oil on top and cover. I would just put enough to like, to you know, maybe let's just do a teaspoon and sprinkle. Go from there. I just would. Do you have a brush? Like I do. I, I would. That's what I would. You would brush, would brush it on that. Okay. Brush it. I also have a pump spray thing. I don't, you can do either one. So would this work? That might work. Okay. I don't have one of those. This is awesome what I need to get from Rhonda. I love it. I love it. Well, you know, I was trying. So there was, you just take it and just. Yeah, that should be good. Make that All right. Good. Now we're going to cover it up and put it in the refrigerator. Oh, okay. To so rise. So do you cover it with a cloth? Yes, or? I did. I always use a dish towel. Yeah. But mine, well, there's different ones. The bread I make, uh, you you put it in like a warm spot to rise. This is going to rise in the refrigerator. refrigerator. And it says overnight, but we're gonna have we're gonna give it maybe an hour, and then we're gonna take it out and see what happens. So it, it may rise a lot. It'll probably rise a lot higher. So I probably should have turned my oven on. Should I? Probably not. Well, we maybe we because we're gonna have to take it out once it rises, and we're gonna have to roll out the dough. That's the. We're gonna part. have to knead it and roll it out and shape it, and then you let it rise again, and then you bake. Usually that second rise, you want it to double in size. Yeah. And then you bake it. I'm excited. I want fresh bread tonight. And it says, they rolled, they did theirs into rolls, and put them in rolls. Oh, okay. So instead of a loaf, mm -hmm. they made rolls out of it. But it says you can, um, Knead it and shape it into the desired size. So yeah. I guess you could do either way. Hmm. They're just doing rolls with theirs. So we'll see what happens. Right. Okay, we're back and ta-da! Right. Look at there. It's, it rose all the way to the top. Oh, <laughs> I poured it out. <laughs> so now we're going to uh, knead it and roll it <laughs> out and shape it. Okay. So should I put flour here? Or I would put some okay flour. This is the Pamper Chef um, mat, pastry mat, and it's going to be, it keeps your countertop clean, while, and it has all the measurements on it, so when you're making bread or cinnamon rolls or whatever, you can measure out your dough and make sure you have the right size. Yeah, I'm excited about using it. <clears throat> it's fun, I love using mine. Okay, so I'm just going to sprinkle a little yeah. flour. Now I know I'm going to get one of those spray things again. I, I know what I'm going to get. What spray things? The olive oil? Oh, I knew it was something else I wanted. I'm getting that. that the, yeah, that's okay. Fine. I'm getting the kernel cutter for the summer to put corn up. Okay, so I've never kneaded bread, so I want to do it. Okay, well, that's fine. I'm just trying to get it. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. I just, you're probably going to have to show me. Yeah, you're going to need know. some more. More flour? Yeah. We'll put, it's kind of a sticky. We'll put some right there. Uh, hands so, or do I need some on here? Now, if you want to work out, kneading dough is what you need to do. <laughs> because it's kneading dough is a workout. That's why them grandmas always had them <laughs> muscled oh, arms. I got it. Okay. Y'all see this? It looks like a big blob. Should I, I probably should take my ring off. Oh, yes. Definitely take your ring off. I don't want to get... Go. I'm excited. I've never needed bread before. It's fun. I know. I've always seen people do it, and I thought, well, how cool is that? Put you some flour on there. On here. I've done biscuits before. Yeah. Like I this. Put, yeah, put flour on. A lot. I do. It doesn't say that, but that's what I do. A lot. I'm sorry, yeah. Nancy. Uh, put it, like, so you don't, it doesn't stick. And you can start rolling it, like, so get some on your hands, too. I, I would put some, yeah. And then you just start kind of gathering it. Like, this. like pull it into each other. Yeah, like that. 
You got like get your hands and yeah, like, like that. that, like that. All right, uh -huh. like, like that. Some more. Oh. And then like pick it up and roll it back over and just keep doing that back and forth, back and forth. That's what you have to do. And like push down on it. And yeah. Then, oh my goodness, I'm telling you, it's fun. It is fun, and I would think it like if you were good. stressed out, so it's, it works really well. Yep. <laughs> and that's what you do. You just they like fold in. Like, yeah, fold it like that and then fold it in again and like that on each side. This is fun. It feels like a big old blob. <laughs> yeah. And, but the more you need it, the better it is. Mm -hmm. And what? so you just keep on and you like press down with your hands in it and like, yeah, and like just. This would be a fun thing to do with the grandkids. Mm -hmm. We need to have a bread making day. I've got a lot of bread recipes. And you yeah, can. Melissa I mean, makes good bread. I try, but I might like, just make sure you fold it. Yeah, I want right. to bake, but I'm telling y'all, the older I get now, the more every time I try to eat something that's fun or good, it just you know it don't go away. Oh, okay. So okay, let's just keep kneading it. I need some more. Yeah. It, you can also put oil on your hands and that helps keep it from sticking to really? your mm -hmm. One One person said they didn't like to use flour and they used, like to use oil instead to keep it because they... I can see that. So I could like just spray that olive oil on yeah. it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Roll it over on top of each other and, and then press it down. <laughs> Do it like a pizza. <laughs> okay. It says need. I don't know how long different breads are needed different. Okay. So it don't tell you how long we need it. But I mean, do you want to do it? Good. Oh, okay. It's fun. I like kneading bread. It's very. It's a good. But how do you know when you have it done? Just work. You know, like is it supposed to be? Mine like usually says need for so long. This one just says need it. So I think that's probably good. Okay. Just make sure it's smooth. Like, do it one more time all over to make sure it's smooth. Yeah, roll it into each other and then fold this side in. You may need to put a little more down here so it doesn't stick. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you want to come knead? My husband's here. You want to come knead the bread? Yeah. You want to come knead? It's fun. I'll eat it. One and make it into like a ball. And then you'll like this. Yeah, just keep rolling. There you go. Now. Now it says we're going to roll them into whatever shape that we, and size you want it. So how do you want to do that? And then we're going to have to let them rise again. So like, do you just put them in your whatever you're going to cook it in? Well, we're going to do that stoneware. You don't you have can to, as long as you don't. Okay, but do you have to put it in the refrigerator to let it rise no. again? Okay, all right. This time, um, I don't think, so. it doesn't say put in the refrigerator again. I think you can just leave it sitting right. So we're going to use my Pampers Chef stoneware because I've always, and brush, spray some oil on it too. Okay. And I'm going to be honest, I don't use mine that much. I know they're supposed to, good. they're supposed to look like that. Yeah. They're aged. But I would, I would think mine should look like uh, that. I use the, this one to do like sheet vinters and stuff on it. Oh yeah. I don't, I use it, but I don't use it as much as I use my other things because I've kind of gotten spoiled to my air fryer. So I don't use a lot of yeah. my baking dishes anymore. Okay. You have to pump that. You have to pump it. I was a little shocked at that at first, but yeah. then I, I figured out, okay, well, I understand. You got to pump this. Okay. So how do you want to roll it? You want to just want, make a loaf? If you want to, I don't know if you can do a loaf or rolls or you want to do rolls. We want to. Let, let's split it in half and do like two. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh. And just do yeah. Need some more flour. And then just uh, make it into. I, I, uh, it's sticky dough. And that's you know sometimes dough is sticky. Yeah. We just do it like. Well, we got to cover so much of your. Yeah, I think. I didn't think about that. Well, if we do them like this, maybe it will. Yeah. All right, we'll try it. Should it be flat like that or should I make it more? It just says shape it in whatever size you want because it's going gonna, it's gonna to get bigger. bigger. Yeah. So I'm going to do mine like that. Okay. How are you going to do yours? 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dang, I pick it up. Make it stay in its shape. Okay. All right. Yeah, this will cover up, I think. You put there, and that should cover up plenty. I wonder how big it's going to be. I don't know. What if it like gets a piece of deeper? So to recover it up again, do you cover it up again? Well, it, it doesn't say, but now normally when I let thread rise, I do cover it. Yeah. With a towel. Yeah, so we'll just cover it. Just cover it like this. And we're gonna let it sit there. And we're gonna see what it does. And then we bake it. How long do you bake it, Marsha? Um, I'll have to leave it. That was fun. What's it say? Hold on, for the last time. Let's see. You're gonna bake it. Oh, it just says bake until done. <laughs> bake at 350 until done. Leave out of refrigerators to rise second time. So okay. we're not supposed to put it back in the refrigerator. And to clean this is so easy because you just kind of it pick, rolls. Pick yeah, it it's up kinda... And you can pick it up like that and just take it to your garbage can. I love that thing. That thing is awesome. And then all you gotta do is just wipe it off with a wet rag and yep. rinse it off in the sink. And it's done. And that way all your mess is with you. There you go. I mean, we did get a little bit but on the counter, but nothing like you would have gotten. Uh -uh. Or if you would have had to take out, uh, what's that stuff? Not aluminum foil, but um, parchment, parchment paper. Or wax paper. Wax paper. Wax paper never stays in place when I'm trying to use it. It folds up on the ends yeah. and stuff. We're going to let it rise again. I don't know how long to let it rise. Um, it's already 12-15, so <laughs> I can already see it rising. Can you? Yeah. It looks like oh, a it little... is rising. I mean, look, mm -hmm. y'all, you can launch it. You get sitting up. It's already getting bigger since we put it in there. So we might let it rise for like 20, 30 minutes and yeah. cook it. I guess you could just let it rise as big as you want to. <laughs> because I have to, I want to get out before it starts raining this afternoon. I had a cold last week and I still, my throat, uh, my voice catches every now and then. It says, now in here they used them as rolls. Yeah. So if you made rolls, it says let the rolls barely touch in the baking pan. So, I don't And one reason you don't have to preheat the somewhere is because it gets hot. Yeah. faster than the other. It's going to hold that heat and cook it. So, yeah, it's that's so why. Right. I would think it's already about to cook bread in. Oh, it is. I saw a picture um, somewhere where they cooked a, a loaf in there. I've never tried it on, on the actual. I have a loaf pan that I cooked it in, but I've never tried it. And not that. having a preheat your oven is like a Mm -hmm. Great thing. I'm telling you. Because that takes. I always forget not to. And then well, I can't use all my stuff. You can pre the actual stoneware, but not, not the, the oven. oven. Yeah. yeah. Which it I has to be the temperature. Like you can't increase the temperature yeah. of the stoneware. But anyway, we'll see what happens in a little bit. But it's steadily rising. Yep. All right, so we've let it uh, sit for another, what, about 30? About 30, 35 minutes. 35 minutes. minutes. And Ooh, this is look at there. It is risen. It has good. risen. We're going to have some good bread. We've decided we're going to cook it and freeze it and save it for our Easter Yay, celebration. So, and what we're going to do, because it's going to take a while to cook, and uh, it's getting later in the afternoon. We both have things to do. Terry is going to put it in the oven and then instead of us eating it together, we're going to be eating it Sunday. She's going to give us a picture of it, and I'll just put the picture in the comments um, so you can see how it turned out. Yeah. I've, I've noticed, I've seen people brush theirs with oil. Mm -hmm. Would you like to do that? I or? think so. Okay. You don't have to, but I like to brush mine with oil. Well, I can spray it. Okay. Try that. We'll just put a little bit of olive oil because I love olive oil and olive oil is good for you. And we're just going to put a little spray. How's that? Looks good to me. And we're going to stick it in the oven. And we didn't have to preheat because we're using our stoneware. And you don't preheat when you use your stoneware. You don't preheat your oven. So we're going to put it in the oven. 
on 350 degrees. It does not say how long to cook it. It just says cook it until it's done. So uh, when it gets done, Terry's gonna take a picture of it and we will put the photo. What'd you do with that cookbook? Oh, I put it up. Oh, I'm we will I put it. doing that to her. Yeah. We will put a photo in the comments and we will let you know Sunday what it tasted like. All right. Next time, is that, is that what we do next time? I don't know. I, I, can't, I haven't figured out her system Well, it's yet. like we go from the breads to the next section. So okay, that's so the, the next, next section. going to be pies, pastries. Yeah, and, and we are going to make. We've made the apple dumplings. We've made the pie. <gasps> Blackberry We're going to make blackberry pie. We haven't made that happen. We need to go find some blackberries and film myself picking the blackberries yes. and yes. then making the pie. Well, I, I don't know if there's anywhere you can pick blackberries yet. Yeah, might be too soon. Pick them. We can go Walmart and pick one. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go pick that. There's some blackberries at Walmart. <laughs> But uh, I'm pretty sure that's what we're making. We haven't made yes. it. We made the pie, but we haven't made that. Love blackberry pie. So yeah. that'll be great. I'm almost certain I've used this. Um, and it's easy. Before. It's very so easy. We're going to be making blackberry pie next time. Which so perfect. Anybody wants to eat some pie, come and make it with us and you that's can right. eat pie. All right. Bye. Bye.